I just got in from the grocery store. I did stop at IGA. I picked up about seven crab legs. That's about two pounds, yeah? <laughs> so I picked up about seven crab legs. I'm actually about to do a mukbang, but I'm not going to use all of them inside the mukbang. Just a few of them and the rest I'm going to put up and store for another time. Um, I picked me up some fresh ribs because 1140, come on now. You can't beat that. These ribs was on sale. It's just one slab. It's actually folded. It looks small like that, but as you can see right there, it's folded. I picked me up some more Nathan's um, nettles. I picked me up some more nettle sausages. This time, I got the hot country smoked sausage. These are really good. Remember the last video I did with Crystal, y'all? If you, you know, a vet here, <laughs> you know that um, I tried these for the first time. I really like these. They're very smoky. They have awesome smoke taste and they're just simply great sausages. Yeah, I almost forgot. I also have two croakers. Um, they had chopped the head off for me, scaled them and chopped the fin off, even though, you know, I didn't ask them to chop the fin off because I like to chew the fin when it's nice and fried. But anyway, y'all, for two of these, they were only $3.99. They was on sale for $3.99 a pound. And um, yes, they still have the bone in them. And I love fresh fish. I was literally talking to my mom as we were at the store. I was telling her how I wanted some fresh fish and it was some on sale. So yeah, got me some of that. I probably have this. I also one. stopped at Win Dixie. I picked me up some sweet treats, y'all, because <laughs> if y'all watch my sister vlog, y'all know that they always say how I never have any snacks. But um, hell, I feel the same. The only time I really want snacks is late at night. So when I seen these, they were on a good BOGO. So these are the Rice Krispie Treats. Um, I think I may have one after this clip. Now, if you love you a good seafood salad, you already know that Harvey's and Winn-Dixie, they have some of the best next to um, Publix. They have some of the best seafood salad. My personal favorite is the Cajun seafood salad. Um, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because it kind of warmed up. And I have to eat my seafood salad with some crackers. Now, I did get the original snack bake crackers, which is a dupe of the um, Ritz crackers. But these were on sale. My personal favorite is the townhouse crackers, but they only had the wheat ones available. So I ended up getting this. Hey, besties. So right now it is after 9 p.m. I was supposed to go hanging out with some friends today. Um, but unfortunately, some people had overslept and left me hanging, left me on red. So now I'm sitting here in the house and I decided I will not be going out because there's so much going on in the city. Um, today is Saturday. Um, it's a lot going on. Child, I went shopping. Y'all, get this. I went shopping. And I passed by several liquor stores and the lines are ridiculous because we have a lot of drive through liquor stores here in Jacksonville. The lines were ridiculous all in the street. I said, oh, these people about to be on that drink. They about to get stupid. They about to get dumb. And I don't want no parts of that. So, I'm staying in the house. I'm going to fry some fish. The fish that I just bought up, y'all seen. Um, I thought I had shrimp in the freezer. I'm going to keep looking because I believe there's some shrimp in there. I'm going to fry me some fish, shrimp. All right, y'all, so I have two bowls, as y'all see. One is going to be for the seasoning. The other is going to be for the... Um, Fish fry. 
So here's the fish. Um, it actually came just like this, but I went ahead and split it down the middle so I can bread it on both sides. So we're just gonna lay that down. Just like that, I have two pieces because you know, I'm big. I have some House Audrey fish fry, original crunchy recipe. Now y'all, you have to be careful when you use this one because it is a little salty. This should be good enough. All right, so with the fish, y'all, I like to season my fish exactly how my mom seasons. She just used salt and pepper. I'm not gonna use salt and pepper. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Sazon Tropical. Actually, I was gonna use salt and pepper, but I seen this first, so I was like, let me just use that. <laughs> just a little bit, not much. Just flip it over. Just like that. Boom, boom, bam. And then we're going to add some mustard, yellow mustard on top of the fish. It's gonna help it with that nice golden brown color. Also, you're gonna have a nice crunch. Just go ahead and massage that in on both sides. All right, y'all, just put it in your flour or your fish fry. Make sure you cover all of it because I like mine to be porous. Ooh, this is gonna be so good, y'all, because this is exactly what I wanted. Um, literally, when I was running errands with my mom today, I said, Mom, I want some fresh fish. And when I went to IGA, they had some ready for me to purchase and did. All right, so your fish should look like this. And I'll see y'all with the final result. How beautiful that fish looks. That's all exactly how it's supposed to look. <laughs> and now y'all know I gotta bust down on that good old ocean spray white cramp. So I'm on my recruit in the living room and I just said that we're gonna find something to watch. That's HBO Max. I don't really care for HBO Max like that y'all. So let's check out Prime. Let's see what's on Prime video. I'm sure it's something new on here. I just watched Creed 3 yesterday. I really liked it. It was much better than Creed um, 2. But much better. I love Creed 1. Creed 2 was good, but Creed 3 was trash. I mean, oh, Creed 3 was great. Creed 2 was trash. Um, I already seen Swarm. I'm in the middle of watching Harlem. That's really a good movie um show. I might end up watching that if I can't find anything to watch. Um, I love black shows and movies. So nine times out of 10, that's why I will watch. I went to go see Hunt for Jesus. That was pretty funny. Black Phone, y'all. I highly recommend. That is a great movie. But um, yeah, let me go through these files real quick and I'll let y'all know why I decided to watch. I decided to do my fake boyfriend. I think this is pretty appropriate for right now. What's up, besties? It is Sunday, y'all. I know I look crazy. Just woke up not too long ago. I am full of energy. I'm in the kitchen cleaning up because um, I have to cook. And I had such a weekend. It was a lazy weekend, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I just been chilling. And I hope y'all can see me. I know it's a little dark, but um, I lost the charger to my little my little um, camera light. So we just gonna work with what we can work with. But anyway, um, I had a pretty fun weekend and I spent the majority of it by myself. 
you know, Friday I went out. I had a date. Did a little shopping with sis. And um, Saturday I had filmed. I did a mukbang. Had my seafood for the weekend. Um, it was just a very, very, very cool weekend. Now fast forward to today. It's Sunday. The 29th was my sister's birthday. Y'all, I'm so conflicted because I thought today was the 1st of July. Today is the 2nd of July. <laughs> today is the 2nd of July. We are in a whole new month. And you know, even though I pray every single day, I like to do like a special, special, special prayer at the beginning of each month, like the first of each month. And girl, I thought today was the first. So when I said my special, special prayer, I had to make it special, 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 special. Because <laughs> I don't miss that. <laughs> oh, goodness. But it was a prayer that definitely shook me. Um, I did that prayer while I was on the phone because uh, one of my homegirls had called me, my homegirl, Delia. And um, we were just talking on the phone and I said, oh girl, it's the first of the month. And she like, no, it's not the first of the month, right? Said it ain't. It's the first. She said, no, it's the second. Ooh, child, I just broke down and started doing my prayer immediately. And I think she was moved by that prayer too. She couldn't believe it. She was like, oh, you said that prayer so fluently. Indeed. And I meant every word. So yeah, <laughs> I'm cleaning up. I'm actually cleaning the whole, in I'm in the process of cleaning my whole entire apartment and rearranging things and throwing some things out. Finally have my new rails coming in um, for my bed. When my bed had broke down the first time, I ended up sending it back and getting like some new ones. And child, that one I broke down too. It's given very much, you need to get your ass to the gym. <laughs> But, um, you know, I don't really read the reviews on every product. And that's just one of the products I felt like it wasn't necessary to read because, hello, it's a freaking uh, box. I mean, not box spring. It's a freaking um, frame for a bed. So it's like, you know, whatever. But, honey, well, I'm going to have to start doing this reading those reviews. Because that will save me the time and the headache. Okay, and I just don't have time for for it at all. So yeah, child, mattress bike on the flow, <laughs> and I'm throwing out the rails. I might end up taking that. Um, I might end up taking those rails to the metal shop and get some coins off of it instead of just tossing it in the um in the dumpster. Might as well. I might get a little, little $20 for a little $20. That's some gas, you know. I'm going to get something. <laughs> Y'all probably laughing. I'm dead ass serious. I'm from Duval, honey. We, <laughs> we sell our aluminum and our uh, plastic pipe or whatever. Whatever you can get a coin from, we're, we're getting it. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm just now finishing up. I had a lot of dishes to wash. Like, y'all, I'm not a slop. I'm not nasty any of that, um, which I'm sure y'all catch that vibe. Now I'm not. But um, I legitimately had a lazy weekend, and I don't regret it. Even me catching up with my cleaning and everything, now I still don't regret it at all. I'm just extremely blessed. I'm happy. Um, and yeah. So in just a minute, I have to go to the grocery store to go and pick up some macaroni and cheese ingredients. I mentioned earlier my sister's birthday was on the 29th and she's having a shindig today. They want me to make some macaroni and cheese, so I have to go and get the ingredients. I think my sister Sharika is on her way. She just texted me as I was recording this clip. And I'm going to give y'all like a step-by-step -step of me making the macaroni and cheese y'all i have something huge coming up please stay tuned it's been is this is something well i'm about to share with y'all 
is something that y'all been asking for ever since the black denim days ever since my mukbang um channel y'all been asking for this and yeah that's all i'm gonna say i don't want to ruin the surprise i don't want to ruin the surprise but y'all been begging and begging for it <laughs> And it's definitely in the works, y'all. So I've been working behind the scenes. <laughs> doing my thing. Making my people happy. All my support is out. You know, I got to make y'all happy. But anyway. Yeah. Also, y'all, I'm excited because it is six days. I will be going on vacation. Yes. Yes, I will be working while I'm on vacation. You know, not the whole day, but I will be working because I know y'all want to see. I'm definitely happy about that. And y'all, I'm so ready to get all this cleaned up. Look at that. Look like public hairs. I, I can't deal. I can't wait to get cleaned up. I can't wait to get my fresh cut. I need to go ahead and do my eyebrows, but I'm going to wait until it get closer to the date that we leave. Um, So, you know, it can be all clean and nice. I'm going to just wait till I get my cut. Y'all know when us men get our... Haircut and all that, we'd be looking like a whole different person. So, you know, don't get used to it. Besides the noodles, this is everything you're going to need. So I just have some margarine, um, egg. I like cooking my macaroni and cheese with eggs. A lot of people, they're starting to steer away from that. But it's the texture. It, it does it for me, okay? Um, I have some triple cheddar, Kobe Jack cheese. Sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar. This is gonna be for the cheese sauce. I have some heavy whipping cream with a little assistance with milk. Yeah, this is gonna be some bomb, creamy macaroni and cheese. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. All right, besties, so I have my new box spring right here, and I am going to assemble it in my bedroom. Welcome to my bedroom. This is where all the magic happened or whatever. Y'all ignore everything in the background. Um, okay, I had to make sure my, none of my fun stuff was showing. <laughs> all right, y'all, Crystal here. You ain't gonna speak crystal thing. Hey y'all, what's up? <laughs> she in the living room, child. But um, how do you open it? I'm trying not to like mess the box up just in case I gotta send her bite. Cause what we was talking about, them dang on reviews. Now this, you know, not not everything have great reviews, but it was more great reviews on this product than the last one. 
So don't you break another damn bed rail. She talking about something now. This one I'm gonna fold up into it. Girl. This is how it look, y'all. Ooh, y'all run away from me. Ooh. It's a two-piece and a biscuit. And you just and you just lay on next to each other. Now, the only thing is I was afraid that they would send me two twin size um frames and you know two twin size equals a king i have a queen you know what i'm saying so here we go we don't, we don't see what she's talking about all right so let me show y'all something Ooh. oh no they got the things at the bottom too hold on y'all so whoever put this together they did that they put like an extra piece of cardboard in the middle so the, you know, metal won't rub against each other and damage it, bruise it up. Y'all did that. Y'all don't care about y'all customs. All right, y'all, right, so this is the one I've chosen. You just open it up like this. I don't think, boo, this do look like, like a legit twin size, don't it? Cause you know two twin sides together equals There's a king. king, so I don't. I hope, Lord. I hope they got something that holds it to both together versus them spread apart. Cause you <laughs> right. <laughs> they gonna be from Patrick's and Flo again. <laughs> Girl. I am screaming. They actually do. I seen some some little screw thing. So we'll see. Y'all know, I don't read directions. I just do it. Here they are, right here. All right, let's see, child. This is supposed to be in the middle of the product so it can prevent the bed from separating. So end up being a perfect fit, all right? I'm a little hot and sweaty, girl. I've been working it out. The only thing is, I'm not too sure if I want to put my headboard back and just have my pillows be my headboard. Or oh, no, no. I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna figure that out. I ain't gonna have y'all in my business right now because I don't want nobody to try to deter me on what I have in my noggin because it's for me and it's gonna be cute period and if it look full i'm gonna just be like no girl that little fool so i'm gonna put my headboard to the set because these bookshelves that my sister sharika gave me i want to have them on both sides and then i think it'll just be a little too busy if i have a headboard pictures and the bookshelves on on both sides or whatever so let me let me get the juices flowing and I'll be able to get it to girl. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to wrap this vlog up. I know y'all probably mad because y'all couldn't see the finishing touch of the macaroni and cheese, but I ended up baking it over my sister's house and I didn't even get any footage of the food there. I didn't get any footage of us dancing, us having a great time because I was too busy having a great time. And which I told y'all before, you know, some moments I'm gonna keep um, instead of trying to capture it on camera because I'm in the moment, you know what I mean? So um excuse me for that but please understand that you know i gotta enjoy myself i'm that's i'm, I'm trying something different but anyway i have to get ready to leave out y'all it is 99 degrees outside no type of cool air or wind the wind that's blowing is super hot and girl i'm doing a photo shoot with somebody i'm not gonna be taking any pictures i actually will be filming their whole experience and I will also be helping the girl that's doing it with poses and things so you know I have to collect my coins and work